There's concern about the polio-like illness that hit a record number among children in 2018. It starts as a cold or flu in children and leads to paralysis. It's called acute flaccid myelitis. Yeah, one local family reached out to us with questions after their daughter ended up in the hospital, unable to speak or walk. And your side, Laura Queso picks up the story from there tonight. Laura? The Evans family reached out because their daughter, De Havilland, was dancing one minute, unable to walk, talk, or eat the next. This all started out with a common cold. Well, here's what we found out, and it's something all parents should hear. Yeah, these are her siblings. A Christmas Day parade in Portsmouth. This right here is the Christmas party the day before. The day before this little girl's common cold turned into a nightmare. This way, wow, it's, it's, um, it's terrible. Yes, I don't wish this on no child. His child, the Haviland, woke up in the middle of the night. She couldn't talk at all. And drooling. Her parents say one minute the eight-year-old was dancing, the next she couldn't rely on her legs to even walk. We hit a boodoo. You know, we was waking by a, a, a bump. We got up, it was her on the floor. Her father, Jerry Evans, says he'd never seen anything like this. She soon ended up here at CHKD. Four. That's how many brothers and sisters she has. What grade are you in again? First grade. These parents see a difference in their daughter, though. It's feel like as a, as a mother, it's, it's wish it was, I wish it was, that could be me. I wish I could trade places with her. You know, just watching her, it's just. Mm, it's hurtful. There's a virus that's finding its way into news headlines around the country because it's making kids very sick and doctors don't know why. With so much media coverage of acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, the polio-like virus that attacks the spinal cord and remains a bit of a mystery, this family questioned if their daughter was another case. Similar symptoms, slurred speech, muscle weakness, paralysis. But doctors mentioned she could have suffered a stroke. They said the EEG showing that she only got like 25 um, percent of movement in her brain. And then a different diagnosis. They look like cotton balls and surrounded the whole entire of a brain. Acute disseminated encephalitis, when a common virus turns into an attack of the brain. We spoke with Dr. Strunz. He's treating De Havilland at CHKD. And ADEM is similar to other central nervous system demyelinating disorders. And that's a group of disorders that includes what most people would know in adults as multiple sclerosis. But it all starts with a common virus. So everyone in our community gets this viral illness and one child in this whole region might get this disorder. We sort of know how to treat this and attack it, which is to try to uh, attack the inflammation of the spinal cord. He says in general, ADEM is a one-time thing, but not always, like Indy Haviland's case. Just taking it day by day. She's now on her third stay at CHKD, and doctors want you to know if your child's virus turns into more, it's important to get to a hospital right away. Okay, better. Okay. Oh, she's, she's strong. She's stronger than me. <laughs> she's strong. She's a very, I call her my superhero. She's a warrior. She's very strong. Some stuff I watched her go through and she's been through, I can't, I couldn't even do it. Her parents devastated that something that started as a cold could lead to this. Even though it may be a cold, I would um, recommend that keep a close watch on them because like once again, my daughter just had a common cold and it turned out to be something totally different. Doctors know how to treat ADEM. There's not a mystery surrounding it while it is rare. As for De Havilland, I spoke with her dad a few hours ago. She's still in the hospital trying to get the strength to walk. If you'd like to learn more about her story, we posted more on wavy.com. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.